the second problem which we have is also an important and conceptual problem we are given that the bond dissociation energies of gaseous hydrogen chlorine and hcl are 1458 and 103 kilocalories per mole respectively and we need to find the heat of formation of hcl gas now one very important mistake which each of the student makes is they forget what is the heat of formation of a compound remember the heat of formation of a compound is the amount of energy released when one mole of the compound one mole remember it is one mole of the compound form from its constituent elements or the its constituents that is h2 plus o2 gives 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o this is not the heat of formation of gaseous water this is not the heat of formation because here we are getting two moles of water rather h2 gas plus half o2 gas giving h2o this is the heat of formation of water in gaseous state this is not the heat of formation this is the biggest mistake which each and every of the student makes sometimes or the other remember one mole of a compound should be formed in the reaction of heat of formation of that compound here we are giving the bond dissociation energies of h2 cl2 and hcl so, so writing the equations for the dissociation of h2 cl2 and hcl we get h2 in gaseous state giving 2h cl2 gives 2cl and hcl giving h gas plus cl gas this is 104 this is 58 and this is 103 the first equation the second equation and the third equation now what we want is we want the heat of formation of hcl gas so writing the equation for the heat of formation we get half h2 gas plus half cl2 gas giving hcl gas now in this reaction we can see that the coefficients of hydrogen and chlorine are half and half so what we do is we divide the first reaction by 2 and the second reaction by 2 to get half h2 gas giving h and half cl2 gas giving cl hence the enthalpies will also be divided by 2 this becomes 52 and this becomes 29 now if we add both the reactions the first and the second one we will get half h2 gas plus half cl2 gas giving h gas plus cl gas and the heat will also be get will also get added up this becomes 52 plus 29 which is 81 kilocalories per mole this is fourth equation now what we want is we want to eliminate this part of the reaction so what we can do is we can multiply this entire equation by minus 1 or we can reverse this equation to get h gas plus cl gas giving hcl gas and hence the enthalpy will also be multiplied by minus 1 so the enthalpy of this reaction becomes minus 103 so now adding this fourth equation and this fifth equation the h gas plus cl gas parts gets cancelled out and what we get is half h2 gas plus half cl2 gas giving hcl gas which is the desired equation which we want and hence the enthalpy of formation of this hcl gas will be equal to the enthalpy of this and the enthalpy of this equation getting added up so the net enthalpy is 81 minus 103 which is equal to minus 22 kilocalories per mole so our final answer is minus 22 kilocalories per mole is the heat of formation of hcl gas in this question we learned two things first of all finding the heat of heat of formation or any enthalpy for that matter of fact for any reaction we need to break that reaction into two or three simpler reactions then adding or subtracting the enthalpies of those reactions we can get the net equation and hence the net enthalpy this is the first important thing and the second important thing is what we saw the definition of enthalpy of formation of any compound the enthalpy of formation of any compound remember is the enthalpy 
involved in that reaction when one mole of the compound remember one mole of that compound is formed from its constituents so the final answer is minus 22 kilocalories per mole this was the question which appeared in j a few years back so you can see that the questions which appear in j are not difficult at all they are just conceptual and they require the concepts and the properties of different reactions to be used properly and intelligently hence the final answer is minus 22 kilocalories per mole